The scavenger hunt continues this week on Pole House Black Pot Weekend Getaways, and we're officially in the mountains. Don't know if we like it or not. Last week, we stayed at a state park in New Mexico that turned out to be the most beautiful spot you could ever have. As we traveled from Kinsley, Kansas to Clayton, New Mexico. And we had funnel cakes. This week, we're visiting Santa Fe to start off with and this beautiful chapel. We cross this scary bridge, and on the menu, potatoes stroganoff. So stick around! I think they're done, hon. The Laredo Chapel was built using local sandstone beginning in the year 1873 and was completed in 1878. It is best known for its miraculous 20-foot spiral staircase. Legend says that the original church architects didn't have any plans on how to build the needed staircase up to the church choir loft. After nine days of straight praying, by the nuns, a stranger appeared and offered to build it. The man worked alone using a few simple hand tools and then disappeared without collecting his pay. The staircase design, without any obvious means of support, seems to defy common physics. Hence the name, Miraculous Spiral Staircase. Well, Wade, where are we at? Well, we're going to a recreation area called the, I think it's P-I-L-A-R. It was Pillar or Piler Campground. I'll get some views here in a minute, but right down along the Rio Grande River, about 15 miles south of Taos, New Mexico. This is where we're going to camp for the night. We've had kind of an event-filled afternoon, haven't we? Yeah, we have. We had a scare with the doggies. Yeah, what was the scare? Red ants. What one, of got, one of them got Joey. Two of them got Joey. Right in his paws. We thought he was gonna wind up having to spend the night with the vet, but they're sure some Benadryl, a little lemon intention will take care of it. Yeah. Here's the river. There we go. Bureau of Land Management. And the crazy thing is, we have 50 amp service if we needed it. We don't need it. Water. If uh, let's see, there's a little barbecue grill, fire <coughs> pit, picnic table, and a pull through. And it's only, yeah, it's a pull through side, and it's only $15 per night. And they have restrooms and probably showers, so it's a pretty good deal down here. Yep, there it is. 
All right, so we just got out and here's our spot. Run around. Haven't hooked the electric up even yet. We had to run in the towels and there's our water bib right there. And on this side, our barbecue grill. Fire ants around here somewhere. If I get a better view, we'll try to get them without getting them, letting them bite us. Picnic table. And fire pit. And right up there is a pretty good rock hill. Or mountain. We are in the mountains. Well, good morning, everybody. It's bright and early on down here at our recreation area south of Taos. And that sun's going to be coming up over that mountain there, but you can see across the valley how beautiful it is, that sun hitting that. can't see it, but if you look down right out here is the block top road that comes across from the campground. It's really, really other than a few cars passing once in a while, it's extremely quiet. Beautiful sleeping last night. Although the mosquitoes got so bad about dark, we had to call it quits because it was horrible. I haven't had this kind of mosquitoes in a long time, but you can't see it either, but on the, right on the, through the little thicket of trees right there, before the edge of that other end of this little valley is Rio Grande. So, look, you can't hardly see it there at all, but it's right there. So, yeah, beautiful this morning. Went ahead back to camp. Leslie's not up yet. Angel just got stirring. She's up. I think we're gonna head back. Get us some coffee made. It's kind of cool down in this valley this morning. So we're going to get some coffee and probably some breakfast and then head into Taos for a little bit. So we'll see you in a little while. This right here <coughs> has a little bit of a smell, but not a lot. But <coughs> Angel said that, what did you say, Angel, that they, this is white sage. Yeah. And we talked... Yeah, when I talked to our friend Kathy, we were camping with them this week, they use that to burn for incense. It's um, not... Uh, the, some Native Americans use it for ceremonies. They oh. burn it for the... It helps the spirits, and I'm not exactly sure what. I may have some <clears throat> Cherokee blood in me, but it's very minute. <laughs> <clears throat> but it's not good to eat. Unlike the sage at home where we put in for cooking and like in your no, it smells dressing good. and it smells good, don't taste good. Stuffing like that for Thanksgiving, but no, doesn't taste good. Only for burning for like that. But pretty neat. Some of the lot of stuff that we don't have up in the Midwest. Okay, we are making a stop at the Taos Plaza. Lots of shops, art, jewelry, all kinds of stuff that's pretty interesting to check out. So we're gonna go see what we can find. We'll find her.
I like that. That's good. I like that sign, Dad. You see that? Unattended children will be given an express show and a, and, a, and a free puppy. That's funny. Okay, I'm gonna sit for a minute. Well, we've come to the trading post here on the plaza. And we've got to get one thing that Angel and her mom always said that was great, that they used to get all the time in the Southwest and even used to make it when they lived in Phoenix. And that is prickly pear jelly. See so if we can find it. Lots of green chili sauces. Plenty of that. Aha, uh -huh. here's what we need. Looky there. Prickly pear cactus jelly. How's it going? This is good stuff here. Yes, that's why we came to the plaza. We haven't, when my, years ago, when my wife and she was growing up, they used, they lived in Phoenix. They made their own. But we live in Missouri now, so can you get prickly pear cactus in Missouri? No, not the prickly pear, no. <laughs> All right, we've left the Powell's Plaza and we're going to stop for a quick lunch at Michael's Kitchen. It was highly recommended to us. That we come to Michael's Kitchen for sopapillas. Can't come to New Mexico or this area without getting sopapillas, so go check it out. It's a long line. You might as well just wait. Oh, yeah. Look at those sopapillas. Okay, he wants me to show you this. One mile to the Royal Gorge Rio Grande Gorge Bridge. I'll show you in a minute. Well, I don't even know if we can see the bottom of the gorge from here. We'll get to see to the fence and see if we can see. There it is. Royal Gorge Bridge.
if you can see it or not, but there's patches of snow and we're in mid, almost mid-June. Kind of wild. We're actually in the Carson National Forest right now. in there. Well, we're at a beautiful mountain pass right out here. I think we're still in the Carson National Forest in northern New Mexico. Stop here for a little rest. Get a break from the drive. I don't know, I might have to look and see what elevation we're at, but I haven't looked it up on the phone to see if I can find it yet, so. We stopped here and we're gonna have a little quick snack and break and then we're gonna keep heading toward Durango, Colorado. So when we were back in Taos a couple hours ago, we had lunch, which is really good at the uh, little kitchen. And we're gonna also got, they got a bakery there too, so let's see if we can open up what we got. Something we can't get very much around home. That is. A homemade cream puff. Pretty good, doesn't it? Pretty big, so we're going to divide it in thirds. All right, honey, you want to dig in first? I'm, uh, you cut, I'm picking, and I'm picking this little one. Ooh, I think I'm just going to take it in pieces. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, honey. You can't have any. Yeah, I can. You yeah. bought it. Mm. Damn, that's good. I'm not even hungry. I'm getting my part out. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to partake. Yep. Did, did you Great. show him this area? Yeah, I did. Look Beautiful. at that. Yeah. Right past him right past her they have this real nice pavilion out here it's a lovely beautiful area iris what are you digging for look at that hey iris. what are you digging in here for hey look at the camera you're a mess i'm gonna have to clean you up before we can <clears throat> get back in the truck something in there I mean, there you like. A hole. Got a hole in there. We have to fill the hole in so no one steps in it. I want to dig too. Uh -oh. Uh -oh.
All right, what do you just make, hon? Oh, I just made part of our supper. We're having potato stroganoff. And I like mixing my meat with my uh, mushroom, mushroom yeah. soup to get it all mixed in there. After I get done doing the taters, we're gonna regroup over by the chuck box. Yep, get it in a Dutch oven and get it baking. Well. We're at camp. We're not going to tell you where. Because we kind of got things screwed up. And we'll explain at the end of this series where we messed up. Yeah. But the reason we were going to fix salmon patties. And unfortunately, we're right in the middle of bear country. And what do bears like better than almost anything Any else? kind of fish. <laughs> Mostly salmon. Mostly salmon, yeah. So we did not want to run the risk of having an unwanted guest. So... Change your plan. Plan Change B. Change your plan. We had, thank you, Kathy, for the beef. Yep, she gave us some ground beef. She gave us some ground beef. It'd be just perfect for us, and I'm going to fix, and I happen to bring potatoes, just so they wouldn't rot at home while we yeah. were gone. So we're going to have potato stroganoff. So I'm going to cut the taters now, and we'll assemble it and get it to cook it. All right. We'll be right back. Raindrop. Raindrops keep rolling on my head. And let it run. Now, I shouldn't probably have to do this, but I'm going to anyways. Because I hate for these taters to stick. So I'm going to spray that just for GP. And I need a little different spoon to scoop some of this out with. I got that mixture, the meat mixture I made. I'm going to put a layer in the bottom. Kind of like we do our lasagna. I'll spread it out. And then I've cut up six little bitty red potatoes. And I've cut them fairly thin. Look at that, Wade. Did that so it'd cook faster. This is the only raw product I'm putting in here. Putting a nice little layer in the bottom over top of those, that sauce I made. One more. Then I'm going to put some more in my meat mixture. Uh-oh, I dirtied up Wade's Dutch oven. Don't tell him. I didn't see anything. <laughs> now we're only making a 10 inch. Probably could have, if we could have cut the recipe down in half, we would have. Okay, cover that as well as I can. And then I'm gonna add the rest of my potatoes. Spread them out pretty evenly. And then I'm gonna put the rest of my meat mixture. You want to come over here behind, Wade? You can probably see better. Now, I want to spread that out as evenly as I can. 
Uh, our Dutch oven's at pretty good angle. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's more level. We'll see if that make a difference. Now, if you wanted to, you could put cheese on top. You know, you could even put mashed taters, just instant mashed taters over top. We don't really like it like that. We like it just like this. Yeah, yeah we've done a variation that's fairly easy at home. Kind of the same type of meat mixture, but you use tater tots, right? Isn't that pretty close yes. to the same? Yeah. Pretty close. Frozen tater tots. Right out of the freezer and then you assemble it. But well, this we call stroganoff. The other we call tater tot casserole. That's right. And you can use with it any kind of chicken. There's usually two cans of stuff in there. It's mushroom and chicken or mushroom and cream of celery. Celery, something like that. Yeah. So. There's a little bit on the... Yeah. Oh, I did get it everywhere. That would have been no good. So, All right. honey, your job is ready. All right. Time for my job. Okay, like Angel said earlier, we're using a 10 inch Dutch oven. This is a deep one, so we wish you add a couple extra coals than normal. And we can have a fairly hot fire because of what we're cooking with the potatoes and stuff. And it's not a red sauce, it's a mushroom milk sauce, so it's not as likely to burn as something with the acid or something sweet. So we can have a little. But that still don't mean put all your briquettes in no, the bottom. No, it still won't add. We add a little bit more to the top, but won't add any more in the bottom. So we're going to do our normal, we, we did uh, 26 instead of uh, 24 like we would a lot of times on, on a uh, 10 inch Dutch oven. So that's what we'll do. So we'll do about 9 on the bottom. Okay, now on top we're going to do our normal four ring, and it'll probably be about four in the middle. Hey wait, did you notice you're missing the briquette? Yep. The one four on the ground? Nope, that one. Yeah, there's one over here too. I must have miscounted. I got a little extra here. Got a pretty full top. Well, that'll be all right. Them taters are kind of hard to cook sometimes. Yeah. That Especially way, red taters. That way we can get a good, probably take a good 40 minute cook time. So, and a hold. Now it's windy. Yep. It's a little breezy. Comes and goes. So, wind guard. And the wind's basically hitting my face right, right that direction. So, this wind guard will protect that. It's wind. As you may have heard, he's a pretty bad enemy of charcoal cooking, so we're going to do it. We'll probably, uh, this kind of bake is a real necessity on browning like a cake or something, so we'll probably go a whole 15 minutes before we rotate it, because it won't hurt anything. So we'll be back, rotate it 15 minutes. This is a very special day. Yes, it is. We're going to just not use that. It's, it's a little heartwarming, but. And uh, it's a little sad. A little sad too, too, but yeah. we're in a good place. Yeah. All three of us. 22 years ago today, her brother Eric was born. Mm -hmm. Not quite two years ago in August. He passed away. He passed away. This is his second heavenly birthday. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday, son. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit more than that. Put a wheel in a minute. We're toasting. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, Eric. Yeah, happy you, birthday! Buddy. Happy birthday! Yep. Ooh, that's good. Cool. Ooh, y'all to get you some of that. Greg and Kathy, you did good. This is some awesome stuff. We like a sweeter wine, and that's what you gave us. Perfect. 
Thanks a lot. But it won't be going back to Missouri. No. Rule. So we miss you, Eric, but we won't be seeing you for a long time, but one of these days we'll see you. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you. All right, hon, let's give it a check and see if it's done. I'll tell you, Craig and Kathy, that wine was good, but it went to my head. Oh, I can tell by looking at it. It's Ooh, it looks good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But, we'll test it. See how easy that goes oh, yeah. in there? Oh, yeah, we're done. Oh, I get that. It's going to burn you, honey. I know it's going to be a lip burner, but I ain't going to care right now. Mm. Let's eat. All right. We're going to eat. Look at that. Beautiful. Ow. Well, thank you, honey. That was a great supper. It was a great supper. Big stroganoff. Good stuff. It's easy to make. It really is. Just Yes. I mean, it, throwing it together is nothing at all, and you don't need to add anything extra. But just, I wouldn't probably let you know, we ended up just letting it cook a full hour. The coals were about dead by then, but they just kind of everything just simmered together, and the potatoes were perfectly 100% done because you got to have them potatoes done. And, and the wind good. out here has picked up quite a bit, too. <clears throat> Yeah. We're fighting. It looks like it's going to rain. So that about does it for this weekend yep. getaway. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, share us on Facebook or Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching. Yep. Thanks for watching. And we'll see, see you, you next week. See you next week. Bye.